Hi everyone. We all know that columns are the backbone of an RCC structure. They play a crucial role in transferring the load from superstructure to substructure. But when it comes to deciding the location of these columns in an architectural plan, we get confused. How far we can place these columns? What are the initial sizes that we should select? And what concrete grade to provide to receive minimum steel in these columns? So in this video, I'm going to give answer to these important questions, which often confuses a beginner or even professional engineer. What should be the maximum distance between two columns in a residential building? How do we decide the size of columns for a single story or multi story building up to G plus 4? How much steel to provide, what size to select, and what concrete grade to provide in these columns? So stay tuned. And before we jump into the main topic, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you do not miss an update in the future. Let's first talk about the maximum distance between two columns. For residential buildings, the distance between columns should be generally between 10 feet to 18 feet maximum. This range ensures a stable structure without requiring excessive reinforcement. However, in high-rise buildings where high-strength concrete like M35 to M60 or post-tensioning cables are used, this distance can be increased. But since we are focusing on residential buildings up to G plus 4, the maximum span should be ideally limited to 18 feet. Now you might be wondering what happens if we increase the distance beyond 18 feet. Here's the catch. Based on practical experience, when the distance exceeds 18 feet, the reinforcement requirement increases exponentially. For example, the percentage of steel in columns may jump from 0.8% to 2.9% with just a few additional increase in span. This can lead to higher cost and less efficient design. So sticking to 18 feet rule is a smart choice during the initial design phase. The next big question is what should be the column size? Well, this depends on the height of the building. Let's break it down. For ground floor story, column size would be 9 inch by 9 inch. In meter, it will be 0.23 meter by 0.23 meter. Reinforcement will be minimum 4 steel bars of 12 mm dia. Tie bars will be of 8 mm with a spacing of 6 inch center to center. Reinforcement percentage would come out to be 0.84%. For beginners, there is a very important note here for beginners. Never provide reinforcement in columns below 0.8% as it might compromise the long term stability of the structure. Some design softwares may suggest enforcement below this limit, but this is completely incorrect. Never go below 0.8%. If we talk about the concrete grade for this ground floor column, you should provide M25 grade of concrete, not M20. If you want to know why, I have explained it in my concrete grade video. You can find the link to this video in the description box below, or you can click the eye icon to the right side. Coming to the G plus 1 story, column size would increase to 9 inch by 12 inch. In meters, it will be 0.23 by 0.3. Reinforcement minimum 6 steel bars of 12 mm dia. Tie bars will again be 8 mm at a spacing of 6 inch center to center. The reinforcement percentage now will increase to 0.98%. Here the concrete grade will be again M25. Here some of the students might be thinking, sir, column reinforcement is calculated by performing structural analysis in the software. Yes, you are 100% correct. These are just basic guidelines for beginners. If you want to master real RCC design, we offer a complete structural design course for beginners to advanced level. In this course, you will learn to model a complete building project in ETAP software, apply loads according to IES codes and understand how to read values from these codes. You will also perform analysis to determine the total number of bars needed for each column in the building and for the entire RCC structure including foundation. Manual calculations will also be taught in this course. Calculation Excel sheet will also be available for download. Methods which professional engineers use to design real structures has been taught in this course. To start your professional design civil engineering journey, you can join in this course today. Link is in the description below. Coming back to the main topic, for G plus 2 story, column size would increase to 12 inch by 12 inch. In meter, it will be 0.3 meter by 0.3 meter. Reinforcement will be minimum 2 bars of 16 mm dia plus 4 bars of 12 mm dia. Tie bars will be again 8 mm with a spacing of 6 inch center to center. Concrete grade will again be M25 and the reinforcement percentage will increase to 1% this time. For G plus 3 story building, the column size will increase again. It will be 12 inch by 14 inch. In meter, it will be 0.3 by 0.35 meter. Reinforcement will be 4 steel bars of 16 mm dia plus 2 bars of 12 mm dia. Tie bar will this time increase to 10 mm at a spacing of 6 inch center to center. Concrete grade will again increase here. This time, it will be M30 to control the reinforcement 
एंड परसेंटेज इन्फोर्समेंट नाउ विल कम आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव परसेंट एज यू कैन सी द इन्फोर्समेंट परसेंटेज हैज नॉट इंक्रीज बिकॉज वी हैव इंक्रीज द ग्रेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट नाउ एट लास्ट फॉर जी प्लस फोर स्टोरी बिल्डिंग द कॉलम साइज विल अगेन इंक्रीज इट विल बी ट्वेल्व इंच बाई एटीन इंच एंड मीटर इट विल बी पॉइंट थ्री बाई जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव मीटर रिन्फोर्समेंट सिक्स स्टील बार्स ऑफ सिक्सटीन एम एम डाया प्लस टू बार्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व एम एम डाया टाई बार विल अगेन बी टेन एम एम एट स्पेसिंग ऑफ सिक्स इंच सेंटर टू सेंटर कॉन्क्रीट ग्रेड विल बी अगेन एम थर्टी एंड द परसेंटेज इन्फोर्समेंट विल स्लाइटली इंक्रीज टू वर्ड्स वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट आई होप दिस वीडियो हैव प्रोवाइडेड यू द इनिशियल वैल्यूज फॉर द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन कॉलम्स वॉट साइज टू सेलेक्ट एंड वॉट इन्फोर्समेंट टू प्रोवाइड एंड फॉर द एक्चुअल वैल्यूज वी ऑल नो वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द कम्प्लीट स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस इन सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक ई टेप एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डो नॉट मिस एन अपडेट इन द फ्यूचर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी फर्दर डाउट्स पुट अ कमेंट बिलो आई विल बी आंसरिंग दैम Till then thank you for watching this video see you in the next video